This is the new ThinkBook 14, you can see here, Gen 6 Plus. What's interesting about this is not just that it's obviously a ThinkBook 14, which is obviously in its laptop. In this case, you are getting access to this new eGPU enclosure here. What makes this interesting is that it's not using Thunderbolt 4. So we all know Thunderbolt 4 is fantastic, but it does have bandwidth limitations. You know, I recently tested it on my Lenovo Legion Go, and it does perform very well, but you do get the bandwidth limitations. This here has a brand new PCI 4x4 solution here. So you can see that kind of looks like a little display port right there. Uh, so you just plug that in here. It is going to be exclusive to this device for now. I'm sure it'll come to other devices down the road. Plug that in there and you're going to get the eGPU obviously kicking in in a second here. I'm not sure which GPU is in there, but that'll kick in in a moment here. And then you are going to get access to the eGPU enclosure. So this laptop here, basically, you're going to be turning it from a 14-inch Ultrabook type laptop. You know, take it about your day, do your work, whatever, get home, plug it into your eGPU enclosure here. Plug that in there and you are going to get full PCI bandwidth here. So it looks like it says compatible with RTX 4060 Ti, 4070 and other. So um, length says up to a 4090, so it does look pretty big, depending maybe what type of 4090 you have, but it does look like you could probably get one in there. Um, but again, because it is going to be PCI based rather than running over USB 4, adding a larger GPU is actually makes sense in this case. So if you see, I'm going to be doing a video where I test different iGPUs uh, on my Lenovo Legion Go and kind of see where the cutoff is for USB 4, because you can lose quite a bit of you know, performance on that. And it gets to the point where it's like, do I really buy a 4080? or a 7800 XT, 7900 XT, or am I fine you know, getting down the stack because I'm gonna lose so much performance on that bandwidth anyways. So the fact that we're going in here and we're getting into this PCI-based solution here with this kind of new Oculink port, it's called there, Oculink port 4x4, uh, we should be able to basically put in almost as much GPU as we want without losing too much of the actual raw performance in it. You know, take this, have it on the side, get home from work, plug it in here, and you're going to get that solution there. And of course, the laptop on its own looks quite good. I mean, it does going to have it is going to have the ultra. It doesn't say which type of ultra it has, but you're going to be getting that good iGPU on here as well. So good performance out of the iGPU there. Regardless, if you take this with you for the day, when you get home, of course, you then plug it in. Uh, you're going to kick off those art graphics, kick over here, and then of course you're going to going to have other good specs here, 32 gigabytes of RAM as well. So overall, looks pretty good. This here is the brand new ThinkBook Plus. So it's a very interesting new, new device here. Quite a bit different, looks like it's powering a screen here. So I'm gonna actually maybe kill that for a second. It's got a little bit more weight. So you may pick this up and say, ah, it's kind of heavy. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Uh, it's a very interesting one. You can see it's got that interesting hinge there. Right, very thin overall. So if we close it up very thin, screen on the uh, camera on the back there, right? So rather than front facing camera, you have a back facing camera, quite interesting. And then of course, if you open it up, you do have your front-facing camera as well there. Okay, so you may say, well, what is the purpose of that there? Well, this one here from, take that off there. And it is a Windows and Android tablet at the same time. So in this actual screen here is a dedicated Android operating system here. So when you detach that there, you take this with you and you have a huge 14-inch uh, Android tablet, you know, full dedicated Android operating system here so you know, obviously you can find uses for that but then you know in this dot in the base here is where the windows operating system is so you come back here plug that in now give it a second to kick over and then you're going to be into windows now instead so android in the screen here windows in the device here at the bottom so that's fantastic in terms of what's actually in the device it looks like at least for the windows side you're going to be getting a core ultra 7 processor so the uh 155h then of course you're going to get the Arc graphics, so despite the fact it doesn't have dedicated graphics, it's still going to be very capable. You can get up to 32 gigabytes of RAM in this here. Here we have the ThinkBook 13X, also a brand new SKU. So once again, these ThinkBooks are getting very premium. Uh, you know, a few years ago they were kind of their step down from the ThinkPad, but you know, more of a consumer level, but they've just been beefing these up more and more and more. So this is the ThinkBook 13X Gen 4, uh, very thin here. Now this option here comes in two different chassis materials. There's an aluminum chassis, which uh, is not this here. The aluminum chassis will be this color here. So you can see the difference there. This kind of sandstone color is actually a magnesium hybrid, custom magnesium hybrid they explained. That magnesium chassis makes it very light. So this, despite the fact this is all metal, metal top and a glass trackpad there, metal bottom, metal lid. So it's an all metal laptop, but it weighs essentially really nothing whatsoever. Uh, Crazily enough, this thing actually takes up to what I think is a 
Ultra 9. So you're going to get the Ultra 9 1885H processor, which is going to be a ton of power for such a thin little laptop. Also, you're going to get the highest end iGPU as well. Once again, you're going to get extremely fast memory in here, uh, up to 32 gigabytes as well. So you can take your memory up quite a bit and make it nice and fast. The fact that it's soldered, but you can take it up to 32 means it's going to have a lot more legs and it's going to be more capable for professionals. For IO on this, despite the fact that it's a super thin laptop, you get one, two, three full capable Thunderbolt 4 ports. That's fantastic. You're going to get a lot of uh, capability out of that. Very, 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 very light, 2.2 pounds out of this laptop here because it is that magnesium hybrid material. So if you look at the standard aluminum chassis here, it's a gray color here, uh, it's a different laptop. This one here is going to be available in the uh, aluminum, but you are also able to get this magnesium kind of material that they apparently, it's a custom magnesium material, so it's not you know, prone to rusting or anything like that, but it makes it very, very light. So despite the fact, you know, this is a 13 inch laptop, it's not huge, but it weighs relatively nothing, 2.2 pounds. So you're going to get a similar weight out of something like the X1 Nano, but it's not going to be a carbon fiber. It's actually a metal. Here we have the ThinkBook 14 Gen 4. Uh, once again, these are getting more and more premium every year. Like I reviewed the ThinkBook, I think it was in 2020, and each year they're getting more premium. Thinner, nice and thin there. Tons of I.O. on the left there. Decent I.O. on the right too, even with Ethernet. So this is 14 inch with Ethernet. Um, so, you know, these laptops, the ThinkBook is actually becoming very premium over the years, so it's nice and thin, all metal chassis obviously there. Uh, these will be equipped with the uh, new uh, Intel Core Ultra. Core Ultra, you know, you're not going to get dedicated graphics, but based on my testing so far of the Intel Core Ultra with the Arc GPU, iGPU, it's going to be very capable. So you're going to be something, you know, around what you're going to get normally expecting from the AMD iGPUs, which is you know, a huge upgrade for something like this because you can do some light gaming on it, but at the same time, you're going to be able to do a lot of you know, high-end processing despite being very thin. Keyboard's a little different too. It's got a little bit of a texture. It's not that kind of metallic feel. Some pretty significant changes here as well. Up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is nice. It'll be soldered, of course, uh, and then you can basically spec it out as you need. Screen goes all the way up to a 3K IPS screen, 120 hertz, 100% sRGB, so you're going to get a really nice screen on it. Uh, it's nice that they're getting nice screens. Sometimes the ThinkBooks, uh, the screen options aren't as nice. This is, looks like it's going to come with a really nice 